first meet our guest student athlete for today. She is a standout and a member of the UP women's football team and currently a coach of the Mondoniedo Football Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a nice game day weekend. Welcome to Callie Huff. Hi, Callie. <laughs> Welcome to hey, game day. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you, you for joining us today. Show. So, Kelly, are you excited to do what <laughs> the game day weekend staff has prepared for us today? Uh, yeah, I guess. I've heard some horror stories, so um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm... They're all true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let's talk about the, the UAP real quick. Let's mm -hmm. just recap it. For those who don't know, how did you do and how did you find the season? Uh, well, we're first, first runner-up, so uh, first time in 10 years we made it to the final. Yay! Yeah, it was obviously wow. heartbreaking uh, making it there and not getting it for the school, but we, uh, you know, we made the school proud, we made mm -hmm. our parents proud, our alumni and everything, mm -hmm. and uh, it was really just a perfect effort from every one of our teammates. Okay, now that you're in the off-season, of course you're still training, you're still yeah. playing football, but do you play other sports for whatever, for cross-training purposes? Uh, for cross-training purposes, uh, so I guess I can't say chess, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> cross-country, I'm, I'm a big runner, so. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Have you ever tried CrossFit? No, I haven't. My friends okay. just tell me too many things. I'm scared, but oh, I'm scared will, too. willing to try it. <laughs> Are you like the other Phil Ams who try out different sports during off-season? Yeah, well, um, I, have a, I have a pool near my place, so I go there, or but mostly I'm a big runner, so I, okay. I well, Callie, I know you're very athletic and you're up for anything. Let's see if you can brave it out in CrossFit. From being a staple training program for police academies and military units around the world, CrossFit has now become one of the most effective strength and conditioning programs used by elite and professional athletes today. definition, CrossFit is a training program that builds strength and conditioning using different and challenging workouts without the use of bulky gym equipment and machines. But what makes CrossFit unique is that your workout changes from time to time. And it also doesn't focus on one particular body part, but rather builds a body that is capable of doing anything. And unlike regular exercises, CrossFit routines are based on functional movement and also puts emphasis on intensity rather than repetition. As the short period of time allotted for each exercise means increased effort, which results in a much more effective workout. And to help us learn the ins and outs of CrossFit, we have with us Coach Walt. No, not Disney, but Coach Walt Young from CrossFit Insurrecto. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, Coach, thank you for having us today. And can you, first of all, let's start at the beginning. Can you tell us about CrossFit? What is it? Um, how did it start abroad and here in the Philippines? And how is it different from other workouts? Well, CrossFit is a strength and conditioning program. They usually define it in three terms. You know? It's constantly varied, which means it's changing every day. Uh, it's functional movement. These are movements that you do every day. And it's performed at high intensity. Um, it started out somewhere around 2000, 2001. It was founded by Greg Glassman. And um, it's pretty different because it covers a lot of the facets of other specific exercises. For example, Olympic weightlifting, and then gymnastics. And then you have the metabolic conditioning where you run. Um, and all these things combined together so that we can find or we can become more fit. So when did it start naman, in the Philippines? And it, I know it gained in popularity in the last couple of years. So when did it start? And why is it so popular now? Well, because think? I think people are looking for variety. I mean, a typical gym, you do something every day at the same pace, at the same exercise, maybe you load it up more. But with CrossFit, every day, your workouts change. Today, it could be just 10 minutes. And the next day, it could be as many rounds as you can. And so, you know, it's very popular because it's not just gonna focus on aesthetics or how you look good. More importantly, it focuses on your fitness, your health. Um, I mean, it's been gaining a lot of popularity from the US when it started, um, I think 2000, 2001. Um, there were barely, about 2005, there were barely about 70 affiliates. And now, um, we're close to about 11,000 affiliates worldwide for CrossFit. 
boxes. So we don't call it a CrossFit gym. We call it as a CrossFit box. And later on, we'll talk about more of the jargons of CrossFit. Is it imperative that they have some sort of a background in fitness first, or can they jump into the box right away? They can jump to the box right away. I mean, we've had people who cannot do push-ups when they started out. They, they were pushing up from the wall. And now you'd see them doing full push-ups, lifting weights. And whether you're young, you're old, they're enjoying it. Okay. What are the benefits of high-intensity workouts? More than the fitness aspect, the social community, the community within CrossFit, uh, you work out, you have a lot of people working out with you, different levels, some will be very fit, some will not be. Right. But you have a coach, and you know, you don't need to hire a personal trainer. Right. That coach is gonna be with you throughout the class, and they'll teach you the movements. And they, they have a saying in CrossFit, the loudest cheers are for the last to finish. So if you're the last to finish, later on, you feel like quitting, but people are cheering on you, <laughs> I have to finish, I have to finish. And then when you finally finish, everybody applauds. Because it's not really about the competition. It's not about, it's not about the competition. Last, yeah. first, all of this. As long yeah. as you're trying to complete everything. It's not about the competition. Mm -hmm. It's more like <laughs> the camaraderie, the camaraderie, camaraderie coming yeah. out. Doing. It's more like a personal journey to them. Right. Right. You know, having, I mean, it, it meant more to them. Right. Being able to do this movement after a month or two, and they're just really emotional nice. about it. Nice. The overall appeal of CrossFit has grown because of these factors. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the details of the workout. What are the usual exercises for CrossFit? Do you modify them according to skill level or fitness level? Yes. Um, actually, we scale them. Um, sometimes, if you cannot handle the, bar, the bars, uh, you can use your uh, body weight movements. We use med balls, we use the boxes, we run, we use mm -hmm. the ropes, uh, we use the pull up bars, we can pull up. Sometimes, we use the tires, we use kettlebells. Mm -hmm. um, the good thing about it is it covers a lot of um, areas that, you know, maybe one certain sport would just cover a certain aspect of fitness. But here we're trying to cover everything. So, you know, you develop your stamina, you develop your strength. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you have a certain goal for your workout, is there a specific yes. workout geared towards that? Or is it a oh, yes. general workout for everyone? Yes, uh, there are actually specialized um, courses in CrossFit. You know, they call it CrossFit. There's CrossFit Endurance. There's CrossFit football, which kind of covers, you know, the athletic part of CrossFit. Um, for example, when CrossFit started out, um, a lot of um, athletes actually go through CrossFit to improve their endurance, their speed, their, their strength prevention altogether. Of prevention of injuries mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Prevention of injuries also, because I think functional movements um, are safer. I mean, compared to isolated movements, you know, um, you're utilizing several joints together. Mm -hmm. and so What's the frequency of uh, CrossFit workouts? You have to do it every day or? There's no what? set the rule to actually how many times you do it. You know, some people will do it three days on, then you know, rest oh, for two days uh -huh. off. Three, uh, it really it still depends on, on yourself. Uh -huh. You have to understand your body. Um, of course, you can work along with your coaches. I think that's one of the strengths of uh, CrossFit because the coaches here know most of the people. Uh, knows their strengths, no. their weaknesses. <laughs> Coach, a while ago you were talking about the jargons. Can you tell us more about those? Oh yeah, so with CrossFit, you kind of have your own little world. Because like for example, people say, um, people ask, where are you going? We're going to the box. So what the hell is a box? <laughs> so like, okay, we call our gym a box. So they call it a CrossFit box. Uh, so that's one jargon. Then what's a WOD? They say, we're gonna do a WOD. WOD is a work of the day. Imam is um, every minute on the minute. AMRAP is as many rounds as possible. Uh -huh. But there's also a uh, workout for time. You need to say you have to do everything, you have to go through everything, and you have to take note of your time. Uh, how safe is it? Oh, it's pretty safe. Um, in fact, you know, that's the reason why we also have all of our coaches here, are CrossFit L1 certified coaches. Um, safety is our primary concern here. We've been trained to actually watch out for movements that may cause injuries for unsafe forms and techniques. Um, we have been trained here um, to watch out for those cues. We make sure to watch out for that. I mean, um, that's what coaches are here for. And um, yeah, I mean, if we find that someone is doing it so much, uh, and we'll just ask them to scale down. Or, or incorrect, it's not <laughs> even sometimes so much, but incorrect, yeah. yeah. 
form, yeah, yeah. yeah. because they're trying to chase time or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes, yeah, a lot of people yeah. get very competitive. You, you get, you get, you sacrifice already proper form and all of that, which may cause injuries. Mm -hmm. Well, something you may notice about the box, there's no mirrors here. Right. That means you throw your ego out of the window and, you know, oh. focus on what you're doing. Right, right, oh. right. But that's where the coaches come in also in terms of checking form, because we can't check it ourselves, correct? Yes, right? yes. I think that's one of the strengths of Crossman yeah. Select, to really right. focus on form rather than, you know, the qu quantity, quantity that we can do. Right. Okay, coach, before you explain further, because we're getting a little tense here, we're going to stretch, and then we're going to wrap back here on the box to do CrossFit, but we'll take a break, and we will be back with more of Game Day Weekend.